Episode 27, Questions and Answers are based on Chapter 11, Canning of the Book Fish Processing Technology in the Tropics. Choose the best answer. What is the primary purpose of canning in preserving fish and fishery products? A. Enhancing flavor. B. Increasing nutritional value. C. Preventing microbial spoilage. D. Reducing cooking time. What is the primary purpose of canning in preserving fish and fishery products? C. Preventing microbial spoilage. Canning is one of the best methods to prevent spoilage caused by microbial action. It produces a commercially sterilized and shelf-stable product by reducing the initial bacterial load. Which factor determines the need for a full heat sterilization process in canning fish products? A. Acidity level B. Color of the fish C. Texture of the fish D. Fish species Which factor determines the need for a full heat sterilization process in canning fish products? A. Acidity level the acidity level of fish products categorizes them into different pH groups, determining the extent of heat sterilization needed. Low acid and medium acid fish products require full heat sterilization to ensure safety. In which pH group do fish products canned in tomato sauce generally fall? A. High acid B. Medium acid C. Low acid D. Neutral pH in which pH group do fish products canned in tomato sauce generally fall? B. Medium acid. Fish products canned in tomato sauce fall into the medium acid pH group requiring full sterilization, often to destroy Clostridium botulinum spores. What is the temperature range for the second heat treatment in the canning process? A. 60 to 70 degrees Celsius B. 90 to 100 degrees Celsius C. 120 degrees Celsius D. 150 to 160 degrees Celsius What is the temperature range for the second heat treatment in the canning process? C. 120 degrees Celsius The second heat treatment is carried out at temperatures around 120 degrees Celsius using steam, under pressure, or in retorts. Which type of packaging material is commonly used for most canned products? A. Glass containers B. Plastic pouches C. Cardboard boxes D. Metal containers Which type of packaging material is commonly used for most canned products? D. Metal containers. Most canned products are packaged in metal containers. Which type of fish product is likely to require the least extensive heat sterilization process in canning? A. Fish in tomato sauce. B. Fish marinades. C. Fish with herbs and spices. D. Fish with neutral pH. Which type of fish product is likely to require the least extensive heat sterilization process in canning? B. Fish marinades. Fish marinades fall into the high acid pH group, which requires less extensive heat treatment due to the acidic environment preventing the growth of certain microorganisms. Which of the following materials is commonly used to make tin cans for fish products? A. Aluminum B. Glass C. Plastic D. Steel with a layer of tin Which of the following materials is commonly used to make tin cans for fish products? D. Steel with a layer of tin Tin cans, particularly tin-plated steel cans, are widely used containers for fish products due to their resistance to chemical attacks and corrosion protection provided by the tin layer. What is the purpose of C. Enameling tin cans for fish products? A. Enhance product flavor. B. Improve visual appearance. C. Prevent corrosion and blackening. 
the increased structural strength. What is the purpose of sea animaling tin cans for fish products? C. Prevent corrosion and blackening. C. Enameling prevents blackening of the product caused by the formation of ferrosulfide and ensures product quality. Which material is commonly used to make retort pouch packs as an alternative to tin cans? A. Glass. B. Aluminum. C. Plastic. D. Steel. Which material is commonly used to make retort pouch packs as an alternative to tin cans? C. Plastic. Retort pouch packs are typically made from different layers of plastic films and are used as an alternative to traditional tin cans. What is the advantage of using aluminum cans for canned fishery products? A. Greater heat penetration. B. Minimal chemical reactions. C. Enhanced product color. D. Reduced transport costs due to lightweight. What is the advantage of using aluminum cans for canned fishery products? D. Reduced transport costs due to lightweight. Aluminum cans offer advantages such as lightweight, attractive appearance, corrosion resistance, and lower transport cost. Which type of packaging is known for retaining desirable sensory characteristics and heat labile nutrients in canned products? A tin cans, B glass containers, C plastic cans, D retort pouch packs. Which type of packaging is known for retaining desirable sensory characteristics and heat labile nutrients in canned products? D retort pouch packs. Retort pouch packs have the advantage of retaining sensory characteristics and heat labile nutrients due to minimized overcooking. What is the primary disadvantage of glass containers for canned fish products? A. Poor corrosion resistance. B. Heavy and breakable. C. Inability to retain heat. D. Limited availability of sizes and shapes. What is the primary disadvantage of glass containers for canned fish products? B. Heavy and breakable. Glass containers are heavy and breakable, making them less favorable for commercial use despite their advantages. Which type of container is commonly preferred for home canning due to its inert property and ease of inspection? A. Aluminum cans. B. Retard pouch packs. C. Plastic cans. D. Glass containers. Which type of container is commonly preferred for home canning due to its inert property and ease of inspection? D. Glass containers. Glass containers are often preferred for home canning due to their inert property, easy inspection, and other advantages.